Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly, hairy Scotsman here, yet again, doing another wee food review. Now, I was in Pit and Ream the other day, and I went into the baker's. It was an artisan baker, I can't remember what it was called, you'll have to check my videos on uh, Pit and Ream. But, I got a sausage roll, which I've just warmed up. I also got a curry bake which I have also just warmed up and it's rather warm there so what I'm going to do I'll cut them in half like this and like that oh wow I've just cut that curry one in half and that smells amazing Here we go. Now, that's like a chicken curry pie, curry pasta or bake or whatever you want to call it. Look at the inside of that, that's looking lovely. And then, the sausage roll mm -hmm. is like that inside. Light airy pastry. With a nice bit of sausage in the middle. You can't go wrong with a bit of sausage, can you? So, let's get myself forward a wee bit like that. So I'm not going to spill all this. You might get a wee nudge in a second, because I'm just moving this table that's beneath me here, underneath me. That's better. Now, I'm going to have a bite of sausage roll first. You can hear that? Pastry is nice and crispy there. Let's give it a wee try, shall we? Mmm. That is a good sausage roll. The pastry has got so much butter in it. You can really taste it coming through. It's a crispy, flaky pastry. The sausage has got... It's got like herbs in it as well. That's a nice bit of sausage there. Sausage's got a nice bounce to it there. It's not just like a mush. A lot of flavour there as well. It's just greasy enough as well. That could be out of the pastry as well with all the butter in it. That is so... Mm. You can tell they're an artisan baker. Now I just used to think artisan meant expensive. Um, I honestly can't remember how much this was. Um but it's worth whatever it was. Um, I would have reviewed it up in Pit and Ream, but they were cold when they came out, and I think for something like this, you really do need it warm. So let's try this. The pastry has multiple layers. Really layered well. You can smell the curry in it, the curry powder and all that sort of thing. It's, the chicken's quite well shredded up. Let's give it a wee bite. Oh, it's hot. There's one description for that. 
Wow. Again, it's the same kind of pastry. It's really, really flaky. And it's really buttery. The filling... It's not a hot, spicy curry. But you've got the curry flavours there. The chicken in it's really well cooked in it as well. I wish I lived near a pit and ream because this would be a regular baker's for me. This is so tasty. Mm. Now I'm used to a curry with a bit of a kick to it. This has got the flav all the flavours but without the kick. And it doesn't need it. I thought I had some loose bits there. Who needs a bib when I've got a beard like this? I'll save it for later. You can see it there. The curry gravy on it is just right. The amount of chicken in it is just nice. It's not overdone, but it's not underdone either. You feel a very fight, fine tingle on the corner of your, the edge of your tongue there. But it's by no means hot and spicy. Not even close. But as I say, it's got all the flavours. It doesn't need any more. I mean, I even brought my tomato ketchup to give it a, a splatter on. Because I love ketchup on almost everything. This doesn't even need it. It is so tasty. Mmm. That is amazing. It's one of the best pastries I've had. Flavours in it. Um, the crispy flakiness. The layers. It is so tasty. It's almost like it's the moisture out of the, the sausage meat and off the curry has kept the inside pastry slightly really moist but allowed the outside to crisp up. That's brilliant. If I lived near a pit and ream, I'd be a regular in this baker. The staff were amazing as well. The, the women behind the counter, uh, there was a customer in. And I'd been filming up and down the, the, uh, the high street and all that. And I went in and the woman was like, I have to ask you, what are you filming? I said, well, I, I do YouTube videos and um, I like going into little bakers and fish and chip shops and little shops and all that and trying what they've got. She was like, oh, I told you that's what would be something like that. Now we know, we just had to ask. I said, uh, and I said to the woman, I sit behind the counter, I says, would you like to be in the video? Oh, no, 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 not me. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to be in the video. Happy for you to film it. No problem. But I don't want to be in it. Absolutely no problem at all. I won't force you to be in the video. Paid the full price, no sponsorship on it. I got a nice wee cake as well, which um, I'll try that maybe later on, do another video on that one. Um, I actually got a couple of cakes, but one of them I, I ate really quick. But these are amazing. I'm going to go and finish these just now, actually. If you like my wee videos like this, doing sort of wee shops and villages and around that sort of thing or anything you like if you've got any ideas for stuff that you fancy me doing drop me a message down below um and i'll see what i can do i mean i can't promise it but i'll definitely try and get uh, anything that you sort of request um and as long as it's not got rhubarb in it i really don't like rhubarb tarts or anything like that it's just not my thing but most other things oh and peppers i don't do peppers Ugh. minging things so, I'm going to finish just now. If you enjoy these and you haven't already subscribed, I'm not going to charge you for it. YouTube might, but I won't. Um, it's all free as far as I know. Hit the bell, let you know when I'm putting these up. I try to do three a week at the moment. 
Um, although I often throw up a little one in between, you know, just something that I've just filmed that day and I've edited it, I just pop it on. So if you fancy seeing more of these and you have any ideas, drop me a line. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Stay safe out there. And hopefully I'll be speaking to you all again very soon. See ya.